Hey, do you think homeless people ever have sex with each other? Probably, but I don't want to think about it. I know for a fact they do. I spend most of my day breaking up in-progress homeless sex. I bet it stank. Oh, it stink, all right. So, we talking group stuff or just one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, anything goes. Whatever you can fit under a tarp. There's a major hot spot behind the dumpster at the Cheesecake Factory. Hey, what's up with the menus at the Cheesecake Factory? Why they gotta be so big? Yeah, and why does their menu have ads? I go there for dinner, not to shop for appliances. Hey, you know what, guys? This right here, this rambling, boring conversation containing already made-before observations, this could be a podcast. Ugh, it's actually not a bad idea. Really? A podcast? Don't you have to be some sort of whiz kid to do those? Uh, definitely not. Anyone with a computer can make one. Well, that's it. We're anyone. Let's do a podcast from right here in the booth. Who's in? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. All right, you guys, podcast time. We got the equipment and the perfect business plan. Give our show away for free and tell no one how to find it. Ready? Hey there, the net. Welcome to the first episode of Thanks for the Clamories. I'm here with Glenn Quagmire. Hi. Cleveland Brown. And... Hello. And Joe Swanson. Yelza. All right, Quagmire, what do you got for us? Let's make a clamory. Okay, this is yes or no. Y you ready, Peter? Yes or no? French toast. Yes. French fries. Yes. French kissing. I, I don't know. These questions are weird. Okay, okay, someone else. Cleveland, yes or no? Velcro shoes. Hmm, Velcro shoes. Wee, that's a tough one. I remember the first time I saw me a pair of crows. They were on the feet of Spunky Tessic. Man, they was dandies. Every time we played touch football, Spunky would step in a pile of dog poo. You can wash a shoe, but you can't really wash a lace. That's why Spunky made the change. That's the thing about Velcro shoes. Quiet going on, noisy coming off. That rip! Spunky's mama thought he was an intruder. Shot him right in the face. Had an open casket at the funeral, but only open on the middle part. To this day, every time I see a pile of dog do, I take a step in it just for Spunky. So to answer the question, I'm going to have to say both yes and no. <sighs> all right, that's all the time we got. I'd like to thank our sponsor, the U.S. Postal Service. When you want something expensive thrown on your porch and stolen, you want the U.S. Postal Service. What the hell was that? I know, Cleveland, you ruined the whole podcast. Yeah, if I wanted to hear a black guy ramble like a lunatic, I'd watch Family Feud. You know, this is exciting. Our second podcast. All right, but listen up, Cleveland. No more of your long stories, all right? Yeah, people aren't used to boring podcasts. Oh, I'm sorry. I suppose they ought to call me Jelly, because sometimes I get on a roll. That, that, d n none of that. Welcome once again to Thanks for the Clamories. Okay, common question that everybody thinks about. How many fourth graders do you think you could take at once? What? I mean, obviously, if you had to fight against a million fourth graders, you'd lose. So, like, what's, what's the real number? Like, what's the legitimate number of fourth graders that you could successfully take on? Let's say 100. That sounds reasonable. Oh, no way. 100 and you're dead. Why are we fighting now? Because they're idiots. Did they say something about my mother? What? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll say yes. Oh, then a baker's dozen. What kind of weapons? Only what's available in the schoolyard. You could really mess up some kids with a chain from a swing. Just da 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 da. All right. Tell you what I do. I back into a bathroom stall and just start kicking. Dead. 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 Keep coming. Dead. Give them a narrow entry point. Make them come in single file. Dead. Dead. Anyway, I, I guess I'm trying to say 800 fourth graders.